Holiday at the one, with White at the two, and it's Brown in at the three spot. And for Phoenix, KD and Nurkic are the big men for him. Peel and Allen are out on the wing, and it's Booker in at the one. And both backcourts in this one stand cream of the crop. Well, a lot of people would say that this is a guard-oriented league. I think it's a league of all the positions, but tonight, certainly, whoever can win that guard battle will probably go home with the double. Certainly the headliner tonight. Well, you got to know the scouting report on Brown. He's solid cashing in from the mid-range. Booker against Holiday. Outside Durant. Back to Booker. Just five to shoot. That one doesn't drop. Some solid defense from Holiday. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Mike Budenholzer and I got a chance to talk for a bit. We discussed just how difficult Jason Tatum is to guard and what he wants his team to do against him. And Coach told me he's a very talented and polished player. I told our guys to stay in front of him. Don't fall for the pump fakes. Play smart and under control. It's easier said than done, but we'll see if they're up to the task. Guys, back to you. Allie, thank you. Now here's Holiday. Back to Brown. There's the triple. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. Phoenix ball. Here's Beal. Almost two minutes into the first here. Holiday against Booker. Holiday grabs the miss. Oh, you have to love the spin move there. But he couldn't quite gather himself for the shot. Brown can't hit. Yeah, you expect him to make those. Good luck. Just couldn't find the mark. Beal finds Nurkic. Here's Booker. He's covered by Holiday. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Nurkic against Porzingis. Nurkic passes to Durant. Money on the 19-footer. And that'll tie this game up. And KD getting to his spot there. He thrives in the mid-range. Brown scanning the floor. Tatum against Durant. Outside Holiday. Three-pointer off the mark. The Suns have gone one of four to begin this one. Holiday against Booker. Outside Durant. Pass to Allen for three. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. White with it. Hounded by Beal. Left side, Brown. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. Something's off about him this quarter. Yeah, and sometimes guys just start pressing. The best thing for him is to just slow it down and concentrate on solid shot selection. Jason and Tatum. finished by Tatum. Wow. And we don't always get to see this from Tatum, adding the sizzle to the steak. Booker's got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, you can get away with a lot in terms of screens today. But you can't make it that obvious. For Boston, they've gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Tatum from long range. And it's Phoenix with a rebound. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Beal, the pass to Morris. Now here's Durant. That one goes in. Durant just going to work inside, outsmarting the defense and getting the close-range look. Tatum feeling it out a bit. Let's the three fly. Drops in the Jason three. Tatum. Tatum's three got five. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. 
great way for him to start this game. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. If he gets into a good rhythm early, watch out. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. It's the Celtics. They're up by three. And we'll be back right after this. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And for Boston guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, I think it's pretty obvious they were well prepared defensively coming in. KYP, know your personnel. So far, good attention to the scouting report. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Pritchard and White at the one and the two. Al Horford out there with Luke Cornett. And it's Hauser in at the three. Now here's Morris. The Suns need to get off a shot. Here's Okogi. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. Well, that's taking full advantage of the opening. The defense probably willing to give him that one, but I like that he's capitalizing on it. Here's White. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. To the middle. Here's Hauser. Here's Cornette. And he jams it home with authority. And now that's a momentum builder for sure. So important in a close game. Look at his teammates here. They love it. Plays like that going to get them going. Yes, yeah, some guys shrink in big moments, and some rise to the occasion. Now here's Plumley. The kick out to Morris. Beal outside. Fires the three. And that comes off the assist by Morris. Morris has got three assists now in this one. And with today's switching defensive style, versatile wing players are tremendously in demand, Coach. Yeah, well, position now, Brian, comes down to who can you guard. And guys that can guard three, four, five different positions, those six, seven, six, eight guys are often able to do that and they are extremely valuable. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Phoenix making a switch here. Allen's checked in. And the Celtics also making a change. Holiday is checked in. Here's Morris. No made baskets yet. Allen in the high post. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. In the, first the Celtics Two have gone minutes. just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Morris. Outside Holiday, pass to Cornette. Clock at six. Holiday with the ball. With a step back. With one on the clock. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And that's why you don't give up on the glass. Man, his efforts, well rewarded right there. Well, that's what he does. He makes an impact with his activity on the board. Here's Plumley. Morris on the wing. Uses the glass to finish the layup. See, now that layup isn't possible without the help of the pick. For Boston, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Morris. Pritchard, no good. For Phoenix, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Morris can't hit. And for the Celtics, they're shooting just 33% so far in this game. Holiday passes to Pritchard. Out left to the wing. Cornette in the post. Plumley on him. Horford can't hit. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Morris outside. With the 10 footer. And he gets it to go. Morris has got his second basket. The defense kind of opened up for him and he took full advantage. Now here's Holiday. Guarded closely. Okogi pulls down the board. To the inside. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. 
<laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And guys, you cannot allow that in a close game. You have to make it harder than that. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Suns on top, up by four. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, can't tell you, uh, for the Suns, the first quarter was pretty even. They kept at it on both ends of the floor, and at the end of the period, they had a slight deficit of three points. After a slow start, they turned up in the second quarter, going into the half for the four-point lead. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Suns? This is what the home fan loves to see. Their squad coming out and putting together strong performance. We'll see a couple individuals stand out. But what really stand out is how hard they work and how they're playing together. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? A one-dimensional perimeter attack doesn't cut it. I'd like to see them punch the ball inside the second half, force the defense to collapse, and then you can play inside out. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Man, is he getting it done today? <laughs> There's virtually nothing you can do to stop him. I mean, you can't even contain him. He's been that great. Yeah, he makes defenses look utterly helpless. It's like pick your poison trying to contain him. Allen and KD are the forwards. Devin Booker out there with Monte Morris. And it's Nurkic in at the five down low. And that's the group for Mike Budenholzer as we begin the second half. Now here's Morris. Outside Booker. to Nurkic and here is Morris the free ball the rebound by Jason Tatum and that's exactly how tightly you have to guard him every time he steps to the arc he's just that good White for three three pointer goes up three pointer goes down for White well the defense can't lose track of him he's just too talented offensively Pass to Morris. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Here's Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. Yeah, when he sets the pick, Nurkic can do different things on the roll. <laughs> Makes him hard to track. Here's Tatum. Gets the bucket and the foul. It goes on Grayson Allen. He hears the whistle and he keeps his concentration and is able to knock it down. He's getting his at first free throw attempt of the game here. Beal, he's checked in for the Sun. At the line for one. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. That one falls for Tatum. Stan, you started as an assistant in the NBA back in 1995. Now, all of these years later, for a coach, what's been the biggest change, you think? Well, I think the biggest change, Brian, has been that we don't practice as much. There's much less time spent on the court with your team. It's more done in terms of film and individual work and not five-on-five -five type practice like it was back in 1995. You mean to say we're, we're talking about practice? That's exactly right. Now here's Tatum. Give him eight points now. Brown with it. Hey, 
Jalen Brown spikes it through. Well, I'll tell you, Brown gets off the floor so easily. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Brian, last season, Jason Tatum surpassed 10,000 career points. He said, it sounds crazy. I always think about when I was a kid growing up with my mom and saying I wanted to be in the NBA. I may have thought I would be one of the best players, but to actually do it is a surreal feeling. Brian, to be honest. Yeah, dreams do come true, Allie. Thank you. The easy money there for Booker. Can't let him get this close with the ball. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Boston shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Derek White taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. O'Neal, he's checked in for Allen. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Holiday. He gets them both. Yeah, great effort tonight, and he's been rewarded with trips to the line. Durant, pass to Beal. Here's O'Neal. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Well, playing his role to perfection, using his size to control the glass for his team. White can't hit. And so Beal will bring it up for Phoenix. Two-point game. They grab their own miss. Oh, KD! Flying in the cap off the break. Yeah, the extra hustle paying off there for KD. That's an easy board with his length. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Outside White. Austin again missing. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Deal against White. Deal the pass to Durant. And that misses. That would have put him up. And we talk about the importance of protecting the rim. Right there, outstanding defense. Here's Pritchard. The three-pointer off the mark. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Yeah, that's high-level playmaking. He makes it look easy, but it's not. We're headed into the and it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the floor for Boston, Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. Jalen Brown is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Porzingis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Brown. Horford in the high post. Shot clock at five. It's hauled in by Beal. Beal's got four rebounds now. And the Suns with possession. To take the lead. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. I like when Beal looks to score inside because it forces the D to get physical with him.
Now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. And he makes both free throws. The Celtics shooting only 29% on this one. Not great. Pass to Holiday. On the take. And Durant with the block. And for all the attention his offense gets, never question Durant's ability at the defensive end. And the Suns making a change here. Allen's checked in. Shot from the inbound. What a finish from Porzingis. One of the tallest guys in the league. Give Porzingis the ball there and just let him work. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. Booker. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got five rebounds in the game. Now Holiday. Horford outside. Pass to Tatum. The three. Plumley pulls down the board. And Phoenix shooting just 38% for this game so far. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Holiday against Booker. Six on the shot clock. Over Holiday. Booker no good. The Celtics have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Pass to Tatum. To take the lead. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Celtics lead by two. The value of a big man with Horford's quickness can't be overstated. He takes full advantage of the rebound opportunity. Lumley passes to a Kobe. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second team foul. At the line for Phoenix. Josh Okogi. Two shots. Breaker. Nurkic has checked in for the Suns. White, he's checked in for Boston. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. For Boston, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. And Holiday powers it home. Well, if you give Holiday a crease, that'll happen. I mean, he just blew the doors off the defense. Hooker against Holiday. Tries it from the top of the key. Misses off the left iron. His shot selection's been poor. If I were coaching this team, he'd be sitting next to me. Brown, no good. Suns trail by four. It's Booker on the wing. Called in by White. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Here's Tatum. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. An ascending superstar. Tatum has really honed in on what he does best on the offensive end. Jason Tatum.
He gets the first, and that puts him up five. Just money from the line. Tatum knows the importance of making free throws. Bradley Beal, he's checked in for a Kogi. And so he drops them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Taking care of business at the line, and he adds some cushion to their lead. Phoenix calls timeout. They're trailing by six. A minute four left in the fourth quarter here. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. Incredible. I mean, he found his rhythm out there tonight, and he's really let his offense come to him. He hasn't forced the issue, and because of this, it's allowed him to get into a comfort zone. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team, and they were blunt with their team telling them if they want to win, the comeback has to start right now. They can't waste any possessions. Plus, they told the players, we need some stops. A very direct way to communicate, Brian. Thanks for that, Allie. At the line for the Celtics, Jalen Brown, two shots. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. There are so many different roles Jalen Brown can take on for his team. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point ball game. Every trip up the floor gets more and more important. Yes, indeed. They badly want to stop the bleeding here. He's trying to find his shot. But at some point, you have to start making these. White can't hit. Tremendous effort. Defends the shot and gets in perfect position for the rebound. Here's Durant. Connects on the 17-footer. Oh, what a clutch performer. It's clear that Durant loves the spotlight and embraces that chance to take those huge shots. And that's an intentional foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Boston. Jalen Brown at the line for two. Shoot two. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven point lead. And so both free throws good, and it's an eight-point ball game. And a comeback here looking very unlikely. Absolutely everything would have to go their way at this point. Here are the Celtics with the ball. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. Now here's Holiday. We see the Celtics get the win here. That's it ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's field. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Stan Van Gundy, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you later.